Houston Discovery for EVA. This is the first spacewalk of the mission. I'm Go space ahead, reporter David Waters, joined by Space Flight Now contributor and this veteran is, astronaut uh, Leroy Chow. Leroy, how, how tough is a spacewalk <laughs> like this? Well, this EVA was uh, probably, you know, I would say like a medium difficulty. That is, it wasn't simple, certainly, uh, but there was no one test that was intrinsically like, wow, this is really uh, going to be a hard thing to do. The crew had to get out there to the end of the truss and uh, using their own eyes kind of give feedback into the uh, robotics operation as to the alignment of the S6 truss for the attachment. I see good motion. Roger, good motion. Keep it coming. Roger, keep coming. And then once they got the uh, capture claw around the, uh, the capture bar and, and cinched it in, got their ready to latches, um, they went ahead and uh, you know got the thing bolted up, then proceeded to uh, connect all the electrical umbilicals and the fluid umbilicals. What's the reason for all this? The station's going to be expanded to a six-person crew later this year, and this is for science research? Absolutely. This is uh, adding a significant chunk of power to the uh, electrical power to the space station. Uh, you see on the American segment on the big long truss, there are now four sets of these arrays, and this was the fourth set. So uh, not quite 25% increase, but uh, almost. And uh, this will go significantly towards the powering science experiments, not only in the U.S. lab, but also in the, uh, the Japanese uh, GEM module, the uh, Kibo, and also the Columbus, the European module. Leroy Chow, veteran astronaut, thanks so much. I'm David Waters, spaceflightnow.com.